All right, so here's a quick tutorial. Got Danny's name in here. Um, gonna try to make it simple for everybody. So with iCam, Medit, um, well they have Trio, Seric, this software right here, Medit Link, it is free. And then you can download different apps, which are also free. So right here, where you see my pointer, that's called Medit Compare. Um, so I primarily use the i700, got the i500, and then also the iCam. So what I'm gonna do is a quick walkthrough. So you can actually, if you have a Trios or Seric, um, no problem, you just attach. And then we can go in here and we can attach, you know, your jaw scans. So open. So here's a case I did a couple of days ago. You got your scan bodies, which I use BioHorizons healing caps, sandblast them. You know, so you can have a nice, uh, a nice scan of that. They're not as tall as what the uh, iMetric ones are. So we'll go through. So here's a scan. This was done uh, uncovery immediate load and then uh, scanned. So these geometries here are found in the iMetric iScan 3D software. The implant positions over here one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is where a lot of people get confused. And once you acquire the data and save it, you know, these positions, it's best to save those geometries to whatever you scanned in the mouth. So in this case, I'm gonna highlight this. I'll drag it back into the iScan software. Change this from implant to iCam bodies. And now there's your position. So on the upper here, you have your upper implants. All you do is right click, you hit change geometries, and then this window pops up. So what do you wanna change it to? So this BioHorizon healing cap is the first on my list. You hit okay, and then there, this is the geometry that will match with that intraoral scan. So you just hit save, And now that's saving right into that data folder. So if you wanted to change the geometries to, let's say, DES, you do the same thing. So if you want to put a DES scan body on top of that healing cap, you drag it back into your iScan 3D. Change this to iCam bodies. Hit OK. Go back over here, right click, change geometries. And then back to here. Des scan body. So everybody's familiar with these scan bodies. A lot of my clients that don't have iCam, they actually scan these in the mouth. They work great to make the prototypes and then we will actually make a jig with the second printed prototype for those that don't have iCam. So in this case, again, hit save. Now I don't need to take those implant positions and drag them in here, it won't work. So what I do is I attach the STL files. So now just the STLs, upper, okay. And so there's the healing caps in there. They're not aligned. And then let's throw the scan bodies in there. And so that brings it into the same orientation. So now all the, all the stuff you need to get into ExoCAD into design um, is right here. You can also do the alignment in Medic Compare. So you open and launch Medic Compare. Set this down. And you just drag this, you hit confirm. And now what we're gonna do is align the data. So in Medic Compare, you just hit Okay, what are we going to align? We want to take the upper scan, the lower scan, and the upper scan of the temps and put them here. Now we drag your healing caps and your scan bodies and hit confirm. So what it's going to show you is everything is here. I want to remove the teeth. I'll remove the opposing and make it easy. So I hit this align button in the bottom and I can do a manual alignment. If you wanna get rid of the scan bodies, you just click on the side. So now 
I can orientate these. When I said I can do this in 30 seconds, it's probably pretty close. So it's basically just like any software, you know, you have that three point alignment. So you click here, here, and here, here, and there's the alignment. So then you can put your scan body on. You have your temp, you have your lower, and everything is gonna be saved. So all you do is go right over to here, you click save, case, the last step, export to Meditlink. So now it's saved into Meditlink, everything is ready to go into the design. So you open up your scan again, and down here your data sets is what you need. So all you do is export, file list, and we don't want all this stuff that's not aligned. We just want the stuff that is aligned. One, two, three, four, five. Export. Yes. And all of that's right there. So if I highlight and click that. Set this phone down there. see your scan bodies coming through and this is all individual meshes but you'll go right into design.